All right, so welcome back. We're working on the dulcimer now. This is a New Traditions uh, teardrop shaped dulcimer with a 25 inch scale. It's called vibrating string length, which is from the nut to the bridge. This is brand new for New Traditions. It's uh, made out of black walnut and spruce and the fingerboard and, and neck is a laminated black walnut with a wenge fingerboard to it. It's got a one and a half and a six and a half and a 13 and a half fret added. It's still diatonic, but it's, um, yeah, it's got some extra frets. So what I'm doing is I'm laying out my, my sound holes. Now I've always done, mostly because of, of, well, just because, I've always done holes for my sound holes, round holes in a series. They can either be curved or they can be straight. And um, I've always done that. Since 1982, we've, we've been doing just holes for our sound holes, round holes in a, in a, in a series. Uh, real common, real simple, straightforward. We are after sound with our dulcimers. I uh, go to great lengths to make what I consider to be, that's just an opinion, I consider uh, one of the best sounding Appalachian dulcimers that, that are out there. I go to great lengths to, to, to uh, continue with that. So I've got this instrument all laid out. And what we'll do is just kind of lay it out with the scale here, and then I'll take it over to the drill press and, and do my holes uh, at the marks, and um, then I'll be able to brace this top up and know exactly where it's going, get it on the body. So I've got my sound holes cut. I've got my secret, <laughs> top secret bracing done on the inside, which you y'all don't need to see that. Um, we work really hard to make our instruments sound as best as they can. Some folks think that bracing on an instrument is, is to, for added strength, but the reality is, is that bracing is what you use to, to coax as much sound, as much, as much uh, texture out of the sound of an instrument. So we tap tune our tops, which is a really kind of a, a long, long, long procedure of just tapping and, and sanding and getting the right thickness. And then after I put the braces on, I do the same thing and then I carve my braces accordingly trying to get that same same tone to my ears so that I can say that at least in my opinion which is a, a humble opinion and, and you can take it or leave it in my opinion new traditions dulcimers have some of the best sounds out there because we take so much time in trying to get the right sound. we are ready to take this um, top of the dulcimer glue it to the, the back and sides of the dulcimer. This is number 854. This is the 854th dulcimer that I've made since I've been keeping records. We started in 1982 and uh, I'm certain that I didn't keep very good records back then, but this is number 800, yeah, 854. This is the first dulcimer of 2020. So I'm kind of excited to get this guy put together and because um, I don't know if this 25 inch scale works or not. So I'm just going to go ahead and dabble on some glue. Got my clamps all ready to go. And what I try to do is I, I almost always, unless things are absolutely perfect, I like to make my final assembly on a straight piece of hardwood. So I've got a nice piece of, of um, hard rock maple here that I'm going to use as my backboard. I know that it's it's as straight as I can possibly get it. And it's flat. So that means that I will be gluing up this assembly on a flat surface. I want my customers to own a unique instrument. Unique to them. So even though this number 854 is going to look similar to the last teardrop that I did, uh, reminds me of a Freddie Fender song, The Last Teardrop Fall. Uh, it's going to look similar to the last dulcimer that I did of the teardrop. It's not going to be the same because I shape every dulcimer different. It's just the way I've always done it and it's the way I'm going to continue to do it thought about having jigs for uh, body forming and stuff like that, but I just don't want to go there. <laughs> you know? 
I want my customers to know that if they go to a jam or a dulcimer festival and they have a new tradition as dulcimer, that it's going to look different than the dulcimer next to it, even if it's another new tradition as dulcimer. So now I can clamp up the instrument. Luthiers have been using spool clamps for centuries. It's a really simple little clamp that allows you to do a glue up of a whole instrument. I like them. I got these from Stumac, of course, is where I get basically everything. boring you yet? Well, hang with me and as soon as I'm done clamping, I'll show you what it's supposed to look like. Once this is done, I'll go back to working on the ukulele. I try to work on at least two instruments at a time. My goal this year is to complete one instrument a week, preferably two. We'll see if that happens. So far, I'm on I'm on track for doing two a week. Is that right? Yeah. That's that's my goal. We have a pretty busy show season coming up this year. So we want to have enough stock to make sure that we don't sell out right away, which usually happens once we we'll go to a show with a full tent of instruments and um, they sell out. I don't quite understand why, but they do. They sell out really quickly. So we'll sell like eight to ten instruments at a show and uh, come back home and have to start building right away so I'm trying to avoid that this this 2020 that's my resolution yeah this really isn't rocket science I don't know if y'all are interested in this but if you are appreciate you telling people about our, our YouTube videos and Go on over and subscribe for yourself. Share the, the videos with your friends on Facebook. So I think that's it. I think we're, I think we're good. Everybody feels good. Looks good. So that's going to be it. It's going to sit like that overnight. And uh, I'll be ready to put the tuners on it tomorrow put the strings on it, tune it up, and play it for the first time, and then I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll finish it. I'll take everything off again and I'll finish it. I just want to know if this instrument is going to, to play in tune. Because like I said, this is the very first 25-inch VSL dulcimer that New Traditions has made. So there you go. This one is is uh, going to be ready to be playing pretty soon. Thanks for watching. Remember to go to our YouTube channel and uh, New Traditions Homestead is the, the name of it. And like and subscribe and share whatever you can do to help us.